Hello. We are definitely, this is going to be definitely modified. Keto lasagna. Well, I'm going to make it more like a, this is fettuccine noodles. So we're going to make a keto fettuccine bake. Meh, sounds good enough. Keto Italian fettuccine bake. I don't know. So, because in the recipe, they tell you how to make lasagna sheets. And I'm too hungry for all that. I bet I have to preheat the oven though. Hang on, let's see. Um, 400 degrees, hold on. And I'll show you what we're gonna bake stuff in. So 400 degrees. Turn this fan on up here because it's going to be hot. And I have to get the lid. Alright. So these are the pans we're going to use. The little dishes that we'll make. So we'll have two of them. Set them over there. So, like I said, I don't have all the ingredients, so we're just going to wing it today. So we're going to start with, uh, I have these Miracle Noodles. Oh, yeah, let me, let me zoom in just a little bit for you. Come on, zoom in. There we go. All right. So I've got my Miracle Noodles that I'm going to use. Um... And I've got a colander. You're supposed to, when you use these, you're supposed to rinse them. If it's anything like shirataki noodles, they will have a mild fish odor when you open them. Mm. Mild, this is better than the old shirataki noodles. Huh. Hey, what's that? It's like inside of a little plastic bag. Hang on now. Uh, these are instructions. Open bag and drain any water. And you're supposed to add to a heated pan to dry. Then heat in the sauce. So anyway, so I'm going to, when I opened it, it came out in this little packet, package. Let's see if there's a thing or do I need to cut it? I really don't want to get my scissors goopy. Now we know why it didn't stink, though. <laughs> okay. There we go. Yep. <clears throat> Has a mild fish odor. So now I'm going to rinse them. And then I'll show you what they look like. I need to get a little pan. So I can heat them up. Show you what they look like. I don't want to dribble the liquid all over. Okay. So this is what the Miracle Konjak Konjak noodles look like. So now I'm going to heat them up on top of my stove. Just on, I don't know, just enough. Said to dry them out, so I'll put it on. Low, low. And in the meantime, we've got our ground beef. I'm going to throw this away here. Now, you know, since I'm not doing a lasagna, it's not going to be doing layers like it says you do a lasagna. Um, so I've, <clears throat> what I am going to do is kind of heat all this up, though. Kind of, I want to microwave it and kind of warm it up before it bakes. So, for the meat sauce, um, you add 18 grams of yellow onion. A 
I've decided I want to buy some of those, you know, the onions that are already cut up at Walmart in the produce section. Because mine, I, I get too big and too long for things like this. And if I just had the little ones, then they would kind of go further throughout it. Since that isn't a lot. Hold on, don't get dizzy on me. Whoa, don't get dizzy. Where's my oh, shooter monkey? Hang on, where did it go? All right, onion powder is what I got here. All right, hopefully you're not any worse for the wear. I'm gonna put a little onion powder in there for some flavor. Now, and it says third, one third of a garlic clove. Where's my, here's my garlic. Well, who can decide what a third is? Looks like a third to me. So a third of garlic clove. And, oh my, two thirds of a tablespoon of tomato paste. Well, yeah. I am sure that is pretty darn close to two thirds. Let me put these in the refrigerator so I don't forget. Okay, so I got that. And then my ground beef, tomato paste. It calls for basil. Well, I don't have any basil, but I got some Italian seasoning. So I'm gonna put some of that on there. Come on. And then I've got some of that Greek seasoning mix that I had made up a while ago. It's Greek seasoning, um, onion powder, and garlic salt, and a little bit of white pepper. So I'm going to put some of that in there. All right, now, salt, pepper, I don't need that, and 40 milliliters of water. Well, psh, that little psh is all it needs. So now I'm gonna, let me see. <clears throat> so that's for the meat sauce. So now I'm gonna microwave this for about two minutes. Where'd my lid go? <clears throat> two, two, two. And then there is a cheese topping. Except what I'm gonna do is I'll put that in the middle of it. Let me check on my noodles here. have the right burner on that's always a good decision is to have the right burner on yeah so it calls for 120 mils of sour cream well I don't have sour cream but I got cream cheese because <clears throat> we're making the cheese sauce part I'm gonna put this in a bowl. I don't know what bowl. Let me find a bowl to put it in. This I wonder if this has mills. Oh, 150 milliliters? And that calls for 120? Good golly, Miss Molly. Yeah. Okay. I would recommend you follow the instructions or mess with it however you'd want to mess with it. But, uh, you know. Sure. That looks about right to me, by George. Okay. 
Alright. So, well, let me put. Let me clean this lid, this edge off here. So, when I put the lid on, it doesn't get messy. Toss this. Check on our noodles now that it's now that the right burner is on. There. Seem to be doing okay. Um, okay, so we got the cream cheese or yeah, cream cheese. And it says 80 mils of shredded mozzarella. I don't have mozzarella. I have, well, I do. It's provolone and mozzarella. So let me zero that out. An 80 milliliter. No, 38 grams. Well, good thing I re-looked at that because grams of shredded mozz, no, of Parmesan. So I got some straight Parmesan. So 13 grams. I'm going to stir up this burgers and onion and tomato paste and water here. Taste and see if it's Could use more salt that's pretty bland how's your day are you having a good day i'm definitely enjoying the benefit of this keto thing this morning again my scale said 245 Oh, that's better. Which 245 is my lowest weight since, gosh, 2000 and 2000. When did I got out of nursing school in 2005? So probably since 2006 or 2007, I'm at my lowest weight. Um, okay, so cheese, a little bit of salt is supposed to go in here. And then what else does it say? Some pepper and a little bit of parsley. Well, I don't have parsley. Um, put a little onion powder. And a little bit of the ground white pepper. Doop, doop. Now, I'm sure I'm supposed to mix all this together. This, all of this cheese is up together. it was sour cream it would be a whole lot smoother so I'm gonna put it in with this heated up ground beef and mix it all up because like I said I'm making it kind of like a spaghetti bake or a, I don't know I know they make t different kinds of bakes I just don't know all the different kinds of them but I'm gonna let them heat from that ground beef Soften some of that, soften up this cheese. So, give me a second here while I.
and having to hold it against me to kind of get down in there. But it's a working, it's a working. And when those noodles are done, I'll stir them in. I need to get myself over and check on them. I'm supposed to have a side. Is it saying? Oh yeah, serve with a green salad and your favorite dressing. Good deal. Because that sure isn't a whole lot. Alright. So there's the noodles. They kind of whiten up a little bit. Before they were clear and opaque. They're not done, I know, but you know. I'm hungry and I don't care. I don't care. But the heat from the noodles is going to help that cream cheese dissolve a little bit. Now, if you follow their recipe, it's supposed to be how many carbs? Let's see. Um, oh, shoot. They don't copy onto this. Well, huh. I don't remember how many carbs it was, but... This is their keto lasagna recipe, of course, you know, with my alterations. Now what I'm going to do to make sure this is even, I'm going to weigh, I'm going to weigh one of these empty. Okay, zero it out. And put it in about what I consider half of this. One thing I know about the noodles, at least with the shirataki noodles, they, um, they're going to be long, like extra long. So what I might just do, get a pair of scissors and zoop. So that's 170. That's not quite half, I don't think. Okay, so that, okay, 244. Whoop, that's 320. I don't know about all that. A little bit of that back out. Let me take it down to 300. Okay, there's 300. Close enough. Alright, now they're close enough. Gotta lick it. What are you saying? Good mom will let you lick the beaters. And a nice mom will turn off the... The mixer. Oh shoot, I gotta flatten out this other one. Now, because I'm Terry and I'm extra, I'm gonna put just sprinkle just a little bit more parmesan on the top. Alright, now, my oven, I don't think it's beep saying it's 400 degrees, but since we are not trying to 
like cook something or bake something, it's not as important. We just want it to get everything all melty. So I'm gonna set it on a cookie sheet and find one. <clears throat> all right, there's my cookie sheet. The oven's on 400 and I'm gonna put them in. It says 20 minutes, but since they're shallow, I'm gonna do, wait a minute, how long did it say? Let me see if I lied to you. It says 30 minutes, so I'm gonna do 15 and I'll get back to you. So I'm making my uh, side salad here. And it said some greens and my favorite dressing. But I've got some vegetables that need to get used up. So I'm adding Probably about the equivalent of half a cucumber, so I don't know, or maybe a, it's probably a third of cucumber and a third of a cucumber, maybe I don't know. But anyway, that's what I'm adding. And then I'm gonna put just a little bit. Gotta have a little bit of cheese on your salad. So I have some queso quesadilla cheese I'll put on it. And then I'm gonna put my spinach on here. Cause I'll be taking, you know, taking one to work with me tomorrow. There we go. Okay. move. Dogs don't make a very good doorway. They make a pretty good gate though. I'm just going to do just a pinch of cheese. I'm not getting carried away. Just a pinch. Just so I can feel like I got a little something something on there. about to go bad and it's not even a lot it's like literally literally that much of the mushrooms so I'm gonna put that on here equivalent of two slices of mushroom on each salad but <clears throat> what's the point of letting them go bad that's just silly so I'll put a lid on this one and I'll take this to work tomorrow. Where's my lunchbox? There it is. Well, no. I don't want to make up my lunchbox yet because when that lasagna comes out, it's going to be hot. And I don't want it to... I don't want to put it in my lunchbox, so... I will have to let it cool down. And if I pack way pack my lunchbox, I'll forget tomorrow to pack the rest. I've got some Greek vinaigrette marinade avocado oil from Primal Kitchen. So Greek dressing. I'll take this to work with me tomorrow when I go. show you the salad when it's done or the lasagna bake whatever when it's done and here we have it my version of the keto lasagna hang on let me turn this camera a little better here we go <clears throat> my version of the keto lasagna i'm gonna put it on a plate so it can look fancy
Hey, 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 get back, Chad. Get back, you don't get this. No sorry, Bob. That's what we got. Let me get you at a better angle, hang on. Lasagna and my salad. Yum!